boxes collect. Always suspicious of new people. See you next week. Oh, we'll see you next week. So now that I know that you're real, who are you and what can I do for you? Professor, my name is Thomas King. I'm Who really cares about the World Trade Organization? Although the rather dramatic word color. One soldier in a convoy in Ramadi, west of Baghdad. Minutes later, the US says a mortar attack on the Abu Ghraib prison in Baghdad killed two soldiers and wounded 13 others. A US officer says the prison is a frequent target of such attacks. And a member of the country's governing council has been treated for gunshot wounds she received in an attack on Saturday. Doctors say Akhil al-Hashami is in critical but stable condition after her second surgery. And members of that governing council have announced a number of economic reforms at the International Monetary Fund and World Bank's meetings in Dubai. The reforms would allow foreign investment into all sectors except oil. The US-backed council says the changes will help to create an open market economy. And those are the headlines. I'll be back with more news in about 30 minutes. Good evening. Also tonight, the Coogee Dolphins Rugby League team remembers their barley mates and death threats rock the NRL. First to today's incredible Davis Cup semi-final singles match between Leighton Hewitt and Roger Federer. Hewitt came from behind to clinch a berth for Australia in November's final the dead rubber saw Mikhail Krichochville beat Todd Woodbridge in one set. Australia will host the decider against either Spain or Argentina. Arriving on court to a hero's reception, a Hewitt victory would place Australia in a Davis Cup final. But it didn't start well for the hosts. Hewitt came to net and found a way back into the match, neither player providing their best tennis, the frustration clear for all to see. Winners, though, starting to flow from the Swiss racket, taking the opening set. And a little too easy on that occasion for Roger Federer. It all became too much for Hewitt. Federer simply unbreakable. And before long, Switzerland held a two sets to love lead. <laughs> that is just brilliant. But you can never count Hewitt out picking himself up off the canvas, coming from a breakdown to claim the third in a tense tie break. So Federer's run of 29 consecutive Davis Cup sets came to an end as he began to unravel. Hewitt breaking him both on the scoreboard and in spirit. The Aussie then taking the match into a deciding set in extraordinary circumstances. He's got it. <laughs> the young Aussie with the heart of a lion doing the unthinkable and putting Australia into a Davis Cup final. This beats the hell out of winning the US Open and Wimbledon. I was here right now. Um, what a win. In the other Cup semi final, Argentina has hit back against Spain. The Spaniards led two rubbers to nil going into the second day. However, Argentinian pair Lucas Arnold and Agustin Caleri accounted for Spain's Alex Carriccia and Albert Costa in four sets. The reverse doubles are later tonight. And joining us on the line from Melbourne is Sky News tennis correspondent Craig Gabriel. Craig, what a match today. What did you think of it? <laughs> Craig, that was just diabolical. It was incredible. It was sensational. It was breathtaking. <laughs> it was crawling. She'd say an old hair and makeup. Johnson outnumbered again. Fletcher was great. Oh, 